Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A couple of days ago, I let you know that Microsoft had officially confirmed that Windows 11 25H2, which is this year's annual feature update, will be rolling out later this year. The video will be linked if you'd like some more information. Now, because Windows 11 25H2 is rolling out later this year, I think it's safe to assume that we won't be getting a Windows 12 anytime soon. Definitely not this year. And I have posted a video previously regarding this where I suggested that we could possibly see Windows 12 in late 2027. I'll also leave that video linked if you'd like some more information. Now getting back to Windows 11 25 H2, as I posted the other day, video will also be linked. Windows insiders are already testing the new version of Windows 11 and that's in the dev channel. Version 25H2, OS build 26200.5670, which is the latest dev channel build. Check the video out once again if you'd like more info. And I did mention in the previous video about Microsoft confirming Windows 11 25H2 that I hope all the bugs are ironed out in 24H2 before 25H2 comes on the scene. Because according to Microsoft, Windows 11 25 H2 is going to share the same servicing stack or servicing branch with the current version, currently Windows 11 24 H2. And how Microsoft intends to do this is that it's going to use an enablement package. And how an enablement package basically works is that the features are rolled out in 24 H2 in a disabled state. And then obviously Microsoft with the update, the enablement package, when you download and install 25H2, those features then will be enabled. So the good news with this, if all goes well, is that the update 25H2 will install a lot quicker because of that enablement package. It just has to enable the features. It doesn't have to download and install the actual update like we did with 23H2 to 24H2 where there were even system files that were replaced and it was basically an OS swap. So the good news is 25H2, according to Microsoft, should install a lot quicker, which means there should, and I say should very carefully, be a lot less issues with the feature update rolling out. Now, although Microsoft did mention that it is planning to release the update 25H2 later this year, they didn't give us an exact date and time, as I've mentioned previously, but I think it's safe to assume that it'll either be late September and October. That's the kind of history timeline we have for these annual feature updates. And I think it's very likely that Microsoft is going to roll out 25H2 with the end of support of Windows 10. Because Windows 10 is ending support on the patch Tuesday, the 14th of October this year, 2025. So if we head to the calendar, that will be the second Tuesday of October, where I think a lot is going to be taking place around about this date, before and just after. But I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.